Hello again, friends. Well, March 1, here we are at the beginning of a new month. I, I think back to this time last year, and things were just beginning to go sideways with the pandemic. We were in our first 14 days of lockdown here and to try to bend the curve, and here we are a year later, pretty much doing the same thing. Just for fun, I looked up one of those This Day in History sites, and I found these interesting tidbits. Vivian Lee won an Oscar for her role in Gone with the Wind on this day. The amazing composer Chopin was born back in 1810. And more recently, 1904, Glenn Miller, that great band leader of the big band era. What amazing music that was. Continues to be today. I love it. Having lived a number of years in Taiwan, it was of interest to me that in 1950, John Kai-shek on uh, March the 1st, resumed the presidency of nationalist Chinese government from where he and his loyalists have fled there in Taiwan in 1949. And as we know, there are ongoing conflicts in that region today over whether Taiwan is an independent nation or still under the rule of Beijing. And what changes have come since 1995? And that doesn't seem to me so very long ago that the internet was beginning to bring about amazing change in our world. And Yahoo was certainly one of the companies best known for those things at that time. Well, it was, as I said at the beginning, only this day last year that the very first death from COVID-19 was announced in the United States. And who can forget going to the grocery store and finding so many empty shelves where paper towel and toilet paper and sanitizer used to be? Here we are a year later. We all keep hoping for change to be demonstrated in a positive way with regards to this pandemic as more and more vaccinations are given across the globe. Canada's behind lots of other nations in this regard, unfortunately. In our own province of British Columbia today, they're announcing details for the mass inoculation of communities to begin with those aged over 80. Now, fortunately, many of those folks, those who live in assisted living and long-term facilities, they've already been vaccinated, but there are still many more to be done. And with frailties mentally and physically for some of these folks, there are particular challenges in getting them to the vaccine or the vaccine to them. But that should be completed in the next month. And hopefully with more vaccine coming steadily, we'll catch up with other countries who vaccinated a much higher percentage of their population, countries such as the UK and the USA. I'm guessing my own age group will get the call for sometime in May or June, but we'll just have to wait and see. Well, through all the changing times, one fact is certain. God is always with us. I love this affirmation that we often say, God is always with me. I need never face my problems alone. Together with God, any difficulty can be worked out and overcome. You know, it's based on Jesus said, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. And then later on, we're reminded that God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Oh, wonderful promises that are true every day of our lives. Life during this season of the pandemic can truly at any time is not without its problems. We all know that. Fear and worry and frustration can rise up within us. You know, we need to use these challenging times to build up a history of successfully facing problems with God. The God who loves us knows exactly where we're at in our life journey. He promises to comfort us in all our troubles and will make a way where there seems to be no way. God invites us to let go of our fear, to ask him for wisdom and guidance, and to trust his personal care for us. Look at this lovely verse. The Lord himself will go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never leave you. He'll never desert you. So don't be afraid. Don't lose hope. Well, let's just affirm our trust in God's goodness and God's presence with us today as we pray, shall we? Lord, you made the universe. You set the sun to come up every morning and to go down each night. You know what's going on and has gone on. Even on Mars, 
even though scientists are just learning a few things with this little Land Rover that's taking pictures on the surface there and transmitting sounds like the sound of the wind. You control the power of the ocean, the energy in mountains that erupts in volcanoes, huge, such as what we've seen in Guatemala in recent days. And you also bend down and protect the pretty little flower growing up through a crack in the sidewalk. You care about each little bird. If all of these things are in your control and care, I'm pretty certain you can take care of us as we face our problems. Jesus, you yourself said, I tell you, do not worry. Don't worry about your life, what you will eat or drink. Don't worry about your body and what you will wear. Look at the birds of the air. They don't plant, gather crops. They don't put away crops in storerooms. But your Father, who is in heaven, feeds them. Aren't you worth much more than they are? Oh, Lord, our lives and circumstances matter to you. The quality and stability of our life today is about believing that you're always with us and working on our behalf. With this assurance, we trust you to help us just do the next right thing and peacefully leave all the rest with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we don't have to face our problems alone. Help us to have faith and trust that together with you, any difficulty can be faced, worked out, and overcome. Amen. Well, the beginning of a new month. Who knows what it's going to hold? Who knows where things will be at by the time we get to the end of the month? But you know what? No matter what, we can have a great month. That's what I want to do, and I hope you do. We've got to do it one day at a time, one moment at a time, trusting God. But he's listening. He's with us. Let's have a great day experiencing that today. See you tomorrow.